And I grew up in a little tiny village in the same place where uh, Joran Bosch is from, Peter Bruegel the Elder. The whole Bruegel dynasty was from there. It is said that people who draw like that have it in their blood because of where they come from. This is the official study that I have from Ida Applebrook. So they're actually very small, like a, a very small drawing. And so this ends up to be a drawing that becomes slowly uh, 18 by 24. And then I started getting really big. So usually it's a process that takes about three months. It feels like you're living with somebody for three months. Everything what there is about her, I can see it in the eyes and the nose. It looks like it's absolutely very precise, but it's actually not. You can see that in uh, Melissa Fenley. If you turn a drawing upside down, you see that it's, it's pretty, it's pretty askew, the whole thing. The eyes don't line up, it's like always sort of a thing. And you don't see it if you look at it straight forward. Those people I did with the big portraits are all like top notch and big egos that goes with the big portrait. And you know, the, the great thing is, I think nobody liked that portrait. Pat Steer would say, oh, Alphonse, I won't do. <laughs> You're like, really? When I draw, I always have conversations, because with a conversation, people become comfortable and they relax more. You become a director, right? You have to you create a scenario. So I asked Sam if you could sit in his living room. There's this beautiful house, like this Rietveld Dutch architect house with beautiful colors and gray walls with nothing on it. I started drawing and he looked at me and that's that look from Sam, that sort of, what the hell do I do this for? How long it's gonna be, you know, one of those things. And then he fell asleep. Ellen, my wife, uh, introduced me to Kiki. And I asked Kiki point blank, can I make a portrait? She said yes. And she was as effervescent as ever. And I asked her to take her glasses off because you can never draw people with glasses except Ida. So she took them off and she said, Alfred, I can't see anything. She said, that's all right, that's all right, you don't have to see anything. So she took clay in her hands and she started making little dolls while she looked at me. She's also very charismatic. You, you can really talk to her. I met her on an art fair and I went to say hello to her. And then she said, Alphonse, you inspired me to make big work. That was fantastic. I think it was the best compliment I got from anybody. It's one of the things of having a very big drawing in a style that I do. There's a continuity in it and an, and an ease. You stand very close and you make the nose, you go with the nose, keep doing this going, and you keep going, and you keep going, and you keep going, and you highlight it, you highlight it, and you go back, and you go back, you go back, you go back. So there's a, it's like music, it's a concert rhythm. It's, it's like dancing, it's a real pleasure to do it. Mm -hmm.